I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily, Monday through Friday, to do these love readings for you. Any and all signs, all of you are welcome. Please do smash the uh, like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. And yeah, I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Central Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, I'm going to do a Celtic Cross reading. A message for all signs for the month of October. And first we're going to see what your first messages are. I'm addicted to you. So somebody definitely has a thing for you. As usual, let's see. Somebody also thinks that you are incredibly sexy. Okay. And they love your mysterious ways. So I guess you're being a little bit mysterious at this time. Or someone thinks that you are being a little bit hush-hush at this time, which is making them a bit more addicted to you. All right, let's take a look at your... Celtic cross reading for October and take a look at the past energies. So a lot of conflict in the past may have occurred, some competition, perhaps somebody competing for your attention, much in the way of competition, conflict, struggle, some type of a struggle in the past. The present energy, ooh, three of pentacles, learning, studying, Trying to understand something about you at this time. The challenge. Hmm. <laughs> Not trying to cheat on this test. Okay. It looks like there's someone here who is... Ooh. Not trying to take advantage of you. This is what I feel is going on here. Okay. Somebody doesn't want to, I feel like steal your heart away or take advantage of you. I feel like there's an energy of really wanting to try to get to know you in October. Um, it's not about just trying to compete to win you over and then take you as a prize and put you on a shelf. I feel like there's an energy of somebody wanting to truly get to know who you are. I mean, yeah, does this person want to just whisk you away and have you all to themselves and just kind of conquer you so to speak and you know that kind of energy claim you as theirs absolutely but um to them would it be a benefit to do that for them for themselves yes but i don't feel like it really i feel like that would be more of a challenge for them and and it wouldn't do them any good in the long run because you're not an item to be had or something to be like caught like a fish and then thrown back in the water. I feel like somebody here is taking a different approach. I mean, yes, this person is crazy addicted to you. Um, they're very, very intrigued by you for sure. Um, they think you're super, super, like they're very sexy, very attractive. Let's see what's driving this person besides all of that. All right, your strength. I mean, there's definitely an energy with this person. Leo, you might be a Leo for sure. So if you are a Leo, this person is very attracted to your powerful ways, how courageous and bold you are. Um, they could be a Leo as well, or you could have Leo in your chart somewhere. They're attracted to your strength, your quietness. You might have a quiet energy, your quiet silence, your strength in that way. Okay, um, and that's driving them towards you. You you have, I feel like this person looks at you like you have some kind of power over them. You have some kind of power over them. They want to learn, understand. They want to get behind the veil, um, see what makes you tick. Try to understand and learn more about you. Let's see what's crowning. Okay, King of Swords. So this is an energy of um, the first court card. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so that if that's you, there you are definitely on their mind. Um, but this is all about being very strategic and learning. 
communicating with you. I do get a sense that this person does want to talk to you. Um, if that's not your sign, it's theirs. And there is an energy as well of this person um, really wanting to gain some clarity. I feel like this person is just seriously dying to understand you, to communicate and to talk to you and to get to know you better. So this is the current energy right now of that's playing like kind of around you at this time if you're listening to this reading, where I feel like this person is this either this fire sign or this air sign is like up in their head about you. Like how does how does my person tick? What is going on with them? Why are they so mysterious? Why are they behaving this way? Uh, like it's more about who are they? Who who are you? That's what they want to know about you. I mean, I feel like this person is like you're driving them nuts. You're driving them crazy. I don't know what you're doing, but you're driving them crazy. They're just in, completely enamored by you. Okay, near future. So, decision. So this person... What is this decision that they're going to make about you? About this connection? Okay. Mm. Okay, why is this Three of Swords here? Ooh. And the Seven of Wands. Ooh, okay. So if you have somebody else that you're interested in, they're going to kind of... Mm, I'm... I'm picking up third party. They're going to find a way to push whoever you're connected with out of the picture. Strongest energy. Yes. They're going to try to find a way. I mean, there is a little bit of competition. I'm not going to get... Um, we can't de uh, deny that. I feel like this person does have that in them. It is something about them that they do have this energy in them. And I do feel like that even though they want to approach in a way where they do try to get to know you, it is coming from that Five of Wands. Like I said, an energy of competition, um, pushing others out of the way, rivalry, some game playing. If there's anybody else that comes into the picture or is already in the picture, I do feel like this whoever this person is that you're connecting with, they want them out of the picture. They want to fight, fight for you, push back on... on <sighs> This person's like crazy about you. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Let me see you. Let me see position of you here. Okay. So you have the three, <laughs> three of cups. So this is, I feel like for you, you know, you might be a water sign too. Like I said, whatever your sign is, your advice here is to just, if you're single, you know, um, I feel like your message here is to just be happy, spend time with your friends, just, you know, if somebody's fighting or people are fighting over you, like, whatever, it is what it is, just, you know, that's on them, you know, may the best person win, right? I just kind of feel like your advice here is to just lean on the support of your friends, family, other people around you, um, pay no mind to whatever, whatever other people are doing at this time. This is my dating card as well, so if you're dating multiple people, I'm not, and don't get me wrong, I'm not... I, I'm not saying if you're in multiple relationships because I don't think that's healthy at all. But if you're casually dating other people because you're not sure, you know who um, who you like yet or who is going to fit you better yet, that's completely up to you. I don't really think there's anything wrong with that. Casually dating uh, doesn't mean casually sleeping with ten different people. It doesn't mean having casual, long, committed relationships with 10 different people. No, that's weird and crazy. Um, just casually going on dates with different people. If that's something that you're doing, sure, go for it. Keep doing it until you can finally decide um, who you want to commit to and then commit to that one person. But I feel like your advice right now is to, you know, I don't know, stay with your, your, your girls, your friends, your family, your sisters, your people. Um, don't worry about anything. Go out and have fun. Do your social activities. All right, let me take a little bit more and see what's going on with this person, with them being external to you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this person's really going to be putting in effort, seriously. You might work with them. Um, they're crafting something, creating something. There's a skeleton or a skull here. So sometime possibly around Halloween, um, 
they might be creating a costume Halloween costume or doing something creating something um, you might see them around around Halloween yes I am picking up that energy uh, there might be a gift they could be creating something making something for you around Halloween or maybe there's a party um, they invite you to go to or you see them around that time around October 31st you know um, well I mean I know there's parties weekend parties that happen before that so um, something along around that time around the Halloween spooky time and let's see hopes and fears Okay, so this person has a nine of swords, so they've got a little bit of anxiety. I feel like there's a bit of fear here. Um, I don't know, um, a lack of confidence, but I don't feel like they show it. I feel like they have this poker face. They don't show their emotions because they're coming in with this king of swords energy. Whatever sign they are, they're, they're kind of poker faced. A little bit they don't show their emotions they kind of keep it to themselves you know so it's not to reveal anything but they do get those mental thoughts of anxiousness let's take a look at the outcome wow got the ace of wands and the sun oh my gosh um this person's really gonna try to win you over and i feel like they're gonna be successful <laughs> Like they're gonna turn it around something. They're gonna turn something around here with you. Yes, definitely I mean this person let me just let me just go down this road here and tell you that this person has got it Like they have a heart on for you. I just have to say <laughs> Yes, and it's a lot of playful creative energy um, I feel like it's, there's a lot of fun to be had with this person if you so um, choose to um, Give them the time of day <laughs> This is the daytime card and the ace of wands makes me feel like there's a new opportunity for growth. If you choose to accept any offer or a date or anything with this person, I feel like it's a lot of fun. And I just get a sense that there's going to, it just feels like there's like, I, I just see this person really, really, really showing up really into you. And you also have, wow, I can't even believe it committed love relationship cupid's arrows and love messages and travel yes this is definitely sometime around some type of halloween event whatever it might be a party some kind of event you connect with this person or you meet up with this person or you guys do something together a lot of like spooky october energy of some sort I don't care if you're just in the store looking at Halloween costumes or you actually attend some kind of an event you see this person um, th this person is just gonna be like through the roof they're just so attracted to you they already are and it looks like a lot of fun for October so have a good time enjoy yourself I'll see you guys all back here on Monday take care bye no one likes being like to you made this mess and left me with the